Welcome back. Our subject today is ARDS or Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. By definition, uh, we have uh, acute hypoxemic respiratory failure due to bilateral and diffuse alveolar damage. Also, we can define this as a shocked lung or medical condition occurring in critically ill patients, which is characterized by widespread inflammation in the lungs. So, diffuse alveolar damage and widespread inflammation in the lungs. Which patients are at risk of ARDS? Patients with sepsis, sepsis, pneumonia, uh, asp aspirated pneumonia, lung contusion, pancreatitis, and transfusion. Uh, very high mortality rate have sepsis, especially septic shock, which have uh, uh, 80 or more than 80 mortality rate percentage. Non-pulmonary sepsis uh, were a primary or foci are located not in the lungs. Pneumonia is a direct affection of the lungs. Aspiration of gastric content that is uh, called uh, Mendelssohn syndrome. It's a very severe affection of the lung with acid uh, um, that have pH 2 to 4. It's a chemical burst of the lung chest trauma that is called lung contusion and a chest trauma may produce at least uh, uh, one is ARDS. Acute pancreatitis uh, often occur from uh, from obstruction of piercing uh, duct and uh, all enzymes come in the blood, entering the bloodstream and going through the body and also may affect the site like a lung with uh, affection of the alveoli that produce lysis of the proteins in the alveoli and massive transfusion. By pathogenesis we have three components like edema, inflammation and surfactant. Pulmonary damage due to damage of the alveolar capillary barrier. A complex inflammatory infiltrates we'll talk later about uh, pathogenesis and surfactant dysfunction. So patient develop acute lung injury uh, after follow ARDS or acute respiratory distress syndrome. Uh, these patients are uh, very often uh, connected to mechanical ventilation on any mechanical uh, machine and they are setting a high inspiratory pressure like uh, 25, 26 or more and patient soon in a one uh, day or, or more or less will develop a ventilatory induced lung injury. Uh, by pathogenesis, we have acute local inflammation. Interleukin 8 provides this acute local inflammation, which is called chemokines, uh, which will uh, lead to secretion or increased, uh, increased uh, number of uh, neutrophils and increased work of neutrophils. Uh, neutrophils migrate to these sites in the lungs and are found um, like most abundant cell type by bronchial velar leverage. Neutrophils are not a simple cells from immune systems. They release a lot of, uh, of cytokines, eicosanoids, protease, and even reactive oxygen species for uh, bacterial destruction. Uh, cytokines, what represents cytokines? They are uh, secreted or uh, produced by, uh, produced and secreted by immune system like or immune uh, cells like uh, neutrophils and uh, can affect uh, other cells. Also platelet contributes to the formation of uh, microvascular thromboses that lead to pulmonary hypertension. Microphages uh, not in the list uh, way participate with contributing with releasing of uh, growth factor, transforming growth factor and platelet deri derived factor that stimulate proliferation of fibroblasts deposition of uh, collagen and glycose aminoglycans. So uh, here we have uh, angiogenesis and lung fibrosis. Lung fibrosis especially from vessels. If vessels are affected, uh, uh, parenchyme or a nearby tissue like interstitium and alveoli also will, uh, will follow the fibrosis. It's like a generalized fibrosis, not reversible at all. Hypoxemia is a true sign from impaired perfusion of the non-ventilated airspace. Normally, uh, upper part of the lung is 
mostly iron rated and and lower part is uh, perfused well only in the middle of them ventilation and perfusion is like one to one uh, in a in a rds uh, ventilation and perfusion uh, mismatches a minor component uh, normally if ventilation of the lung is decreased uh, perfusion also is decreased or redistributed to the uh, other uh, aerated part of the lung surfactant uh, secretion is inadequate or not functional at all alveolar instability occur with local discoid actalectasis uh, uh, so patient will have atelectasis uh, many alveoli will uh, become collapsed uh, many of them will be uh, abundant with uh, uh, liquid with, uh, and even non-functional. It will require a high pressure uh, for because um, patients with ARDS have a, a very low compliance and very high resistance in airways. So uh, increased work of breath will be required and is, and is present. Pulmonary hypertension from vasoconstrictive action of thromboxane H2 endocellin occur microvascular thrombosis and alveolar fibrosis so if this segment is occluded or uh, or blocked uh, a followed segment will be also uh, not perfused and will become fibrosed what is the management of ARDS so mechanical ventilation as soon as possible uh, if patient cannot breathe by self or making more than 30 uh, breath per minute or have a, a even a worse respiratory acidosis require mechanical ventilation as soon as possible uh, also to prevent overwork and weakness of the intercostal muscle we are giving a deep anesthesia and muscle relaxants and help to stabilize, stabilize the brace and parameters we can use a low flow or a six milliliter per kilogram. If patient have a uh, seventy kilograms, we are giving like uh, four hundred twenty milliliter uh, of tidal volume. A fraction of uh, inspired oxygen uh, should be uh, around sixty percent, but starting with one hundred initially and then decline to this sixty uh, percent or less. Uh, pressure less than thirty millimeters of. Uh, a water column in the airways and aiming for PIP value of so 50 millimeters per water so starting from 5 to 15 but do not exceed because it can produce a barotrauma uh, at the end of the alveoli uh, how we diagnose this ARDS uh, labored breathing in their costal rejection tachypnea tachycardia uh, agitation, anxiety, and release on exclusion uh, widely. So low saturation, despite of oxygen administration by facial mask usually, and uh, SIRS components uh, may be present. Also, chest X-ray is useful because it will show bilateral pulmonary infiltrates, and uh, acid-base acid equilibrium will show as uh, respiratory acidosis. Uh, modes of ventilation use it uh, preferred pressure support uh, any of them we can use uh, a synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation we can use pressure pressure regulated volume control and uh, continuous positive uh, airway pressure that is called CPAP use it mostly for a constant, a constant patient uh, so a new respiratory machine have a very gentle uh, respiratory regimens that uh, let patient to give by self even a by by pop or a dual dual level ventilation in, in times that patient can uh, make some breathing uh, this will uh, change to the CPAP which will allow patient to, uh, to make some uh, breathing in times that patient is inadequate on a respiratory uh, rate or work uh, respiratory machine will make this work for patient. Uh, what is the target of uh, saturation and
partial arterial pressure of oxygen saturation more than 90 with uh, set uh, parameters and the uh, partial, partial arterial oxygen pressure more than 60. Also we require a good hemoglobin level because uh, uh, even an adequate level of hemoglobin and erythrocyte can uh, deliver and required oxygen. Respiratory rate, maximum admissible rate is uh, 35, not, not more to exceed uh, because hyperventilation have risk of hyperinflation and washing of CO2 too rapidly. We have to wash CO2 but not too rapidly and uh, prove it that just few points above the normal range of CO2 do not harm too much patient. So goal is decreasing of acidosis by increasing pressure to to uh, to make some uh, some ventilation good ventilation and gas exchange with a high oxygen how to improve oxygenation give oxygen prune stature that produce recruitment of the dorsal lungs and administration of nitric oxide or, or any analog nitrates that dilate the pulmonary vessel and improve blood supply at least uh, surfactant glucocorticoids we also can give mechanisms that make some uh, muscle relaxation so if we are giving oxygen by facial mass to patient how we can calculate uh, uh, the inspired fraction of oxygen this formula is like at 21 percent is a normal uh, fraction of oxygen in the atmosphere plus uh, liters of uh, liters per minute that we give through the mask is like six if we are setting a six liters per minute and multiply by four person we'll have the following sum like 21 plus 24 it it can be like 45 percent of inspired oxygen not too much uh, some somebody are very feared about this uh, uh, number like six to too much not too much because in some it will be a 45 percent and uh, another index that helped to establish a, a phase of ARDS it's a Murray lung injury score have uh, two components uh, every single with uh, a maximum of four points so alveolar consolidation or no alveolar consolidation we are looking at uh, every quadrant of the lung so we have four quadrants if all four are affected we have four points next one is hypoxemia score or uh, vo2 and uh, partial arterial pressure of oxygen so if we are we we have a uh, 80 percent of uh, partial oxygen no we have a uh, 80 uh, partial pressure of oxygen and the blood uh, and we are giving a 60 percent of uh, oxygen fraction of oxygen the sum will be uh, 133 so 133 can be placed right here and we'll have three points we normally we have uh, 100 uh, uh, millimeters of uh, mercury of oxygen in the blood and uh, we inspire uh, 21 percent from the atmospheric uh, air and in, we will have a 500 a summit is normal more than 300 a third component is a pip uh, pip uh, it's a positive end expiratory pressure uh, this uh, component is set on a ventilatory machine if not this represents zero if we are giving a sip up we can give like five or more it will be one point and patient if uh, is uh, connected to the mechanical ventilation and have more than 50 to give up four points and respiratory system compliance normal compliance is 50 to 100 if compliance is decreased and have a high resistance in the airways like uh, 20 or 39 to have also three points so like four four three and three it's a bit it will be a high points so interpretation of uh, partial oxygen uh, arterial pressure and the uh, fraction of oxygen ratio in healthy people it will be 300 to 500 a milder this uh, 2 to 300 and several just less than 100 thank you very much for your attention if you like my lectures you can follow me see you